Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Flow Over Fear podcast, where it is our mission to help you to rise above fear and realize your ultimate potential in leadership and life. I'm your host, Adam Hill, and it is my goal to share with you the human side of high performance. My guests share their experience with fear, anxiety, struggle, challenge, and most importantly, despite all of it, how they rose above it to achieve incredible results. So if you're ready to rise up, let's get started. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Flow Over Fear. And today I want to dig into one of the elements of mindset that is probably the most important thing that we can do on, on every day to, to imprint consistency, discipline, and really, really level up our habits. This is called the morning method. And I know that mindset in general, that phrase is, is a very loaded term. There's, it's very cliche. It's used a lot in personal development. And a lot of times it's used in this ethereal way where there's not a lot of meat put on the bone with regard to mindset. We just talk about, Hey, you gotta, you gotta have a strong mindset. You gotta empower your mindset. You gotta do all of these things. But what does that really mean? There's no real action behind it. But today I want to dig into some action and probably the most important action you can take to level up your mindset. Uh, and that starts first thing in the morning. How we start our day uh, influences how our day unfolds. Does everyone agree with that? I mean, do you agree that how you start your day, the attitude that you bring into it, the energy, the enthusiasm, the 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 excitement of what you bring to your day influences how your day unfolds. That, uh, uh, of course, has the opposite effect of, of if you start your day in a negative effect, if you start your day negatively or, or feeling like you're tired or feeling like you're just not there or telling yourself a negative story, right? You are, you are actually setting the tone for the day that is going to be negative, that's going to be uh, disempowering. So, what I want to present to you today is, is a way to start your day, is a method to start your day that empowers you, that energizes you, that gives you the presence of mind to set the tone for the day in a positive way. And while that doesn't, uh, that doesn't, that doesn't lead, that doesn't cause a great day to happen because we're always going to be affected by outside circumstances and stimulus, it will set a tone that that gives you a better attitude and a better perspective to see the right things happening. And when we do that, that's going to, uh, that's going to influence how we perceive our day unfolding because a lot of life, a lot of our reality is about our perception, right? And so the, the, the more we can empower our morning method, the less that those outside circumstances are going to affect, affect us negatively, the, the more that we can put our energy of positivity out into the world. And that's what we want to achieve. So I'll start first by asking this question. How do you start your day now? Well, if it looks anything like how I used to start my day, it probably starts with you waking up to the sound of the most annoying sound on the, on the planet, which is the alarm clock. And I don't know why we can't make a pleasant sounding alarm, but we just haven't mastered that yet. Come on, somebody's got to get on that. Uh, but when we wake up to that sound, we often hit the snooze button. We hit it probably about 10 times, which just basically extends that pain outward uh, 10 minutes at a time and leads to the most, I, I don't know why we force ourselves to suffer that much, but it is an impulse that we have to say, hey, I don't like this sound right now. Maybe I'll like it again in 10 minutes. So we extend that suffering on and then eventually we get up and now we're much later for to start our day. So we jump into the shower, we, we brush our teeth, we grab like a granola bar or something sweet and something sugary to a, and a, and a cup of coffee. And we rush out the door and sit in traffic for the next hour. So we already wake up essentially at those. We're, we're essentially slaves to somebody else's time immediately. We don't have control over our own time. When we do that, we don't have control over our own morning when we do that. So the tone that sets itself for that day, is a tone that says, hey, I am subject to somebody else's time starting right away, and I've got catch up to do. So when we start off on that negative zone, what happens is over the course of the day, we have to work 
we, we have to fight against all of that negativity from the place of already feeling in that negative space. But there is a solution. There's an alternative to that. That is the most powerful, uh, I believe, is the most powerful mindset tool on the planet. And it leads to consistently leveling up our lives. It is a morning method. It's something that we can practice every single day, every single day that will level us up, that will give us a, a, a great perspective to start our day, and that will, uh, that will allow us to face the day, to face those negative negative stimulus, the things that come from outside circumstances, it will allow us to face those with a, with an empowered perspective, which will change the way we look at things. And it will, it will, it will elevate our performance throughout the day. Uh, what does that look like? What is that? What does that mindset strategy look like? Well, there's a lot of, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, uh, people that promote things we should do in the morning, like meditation, like reading, like, like uh, priming and, and those kinds of things. And those are all great. And, and by all means, you should incorporate them into their morning method. But there's no one size fits all method to starting your day. The key is make the morning yours. Make it yours. It is yours. You own it. You own your morning. It doesn't belong to anybody else. So make sure that you give yourself the time to do this, to do, to do something on a daily basis. And a lot of you might be saying, well, I don't have the time. I don't have an additional 30 minutes or even an hour or, or even 15 minutes to start my day with an empowering morning method. Uh, but in reality, if you can't find 15 minutes, 30 minutes, even an hour out of your life to devote to yourself, then you have none of your own time at all. You have none of it. I hate to, I hate to say it so, uh, uh, you know, say it so mean, but it's true. Uh, there are 168 hours every week in a week. And if you take one hour a day for yourself first thing in the morning, that is essentially seven hours a week out of 168. It's less than 5% of your total time. So I would argue just find that added 5% and the remaining 95% of your life will become more controllable by you and will become more empowered by you and will become more enjoyable. So if you can make 5% of your time yours, 100% of your time will be vastly more enjoyable and more fulfilling. And that's what we're looking for. So what, uh, so again, these strategies, this morning method strategies, they should always be highly individual. They're going to be individual. They, they need to relate to you. So find the things that work for you. And there are a lot of elements that, uh, um, that are, that are part of that, uh, method. So, um, what I would, what I would say is that, uh, these are some of the practices that you would want to look at for that sample morning method. There are things like more, uh, meditation. There are breathing exercises. I start my day every single day with Wim Hof breathing. And, uh, if you don't know Wim Hof, look him up. I'm not going to get into the details here, but it's a very empowering exercise, um, affirmations, visualization, all of these things. There are so many different empowering things that we can do to elevate, to elevate our, our lives and to elevate our mornings. Um, and there are only three requirements to, uh, to starting your day off, right? There, there are only three requirements. Um, and, uh, uh, and any of these methods that you use should, should incorporate uh, one of these three requirements so that you incorporate all of them over the course of your morning. They should, they should have presence, meaning you should be present. You should be in the moment. Uh, you should, and, and I know that it is hard to stay in the moment because we have, our mind is, is taking us to, in so many different directions into the future, into the past. What did we do yesterday? What do we need to do for the rest of the day? But the focus here is just is not to not to shame ourselves that we're living in the future or the past, but actually just to bring our minds back to the present. And we do that through our heart. We feel our heart. We just be grateful for our heart. It's beating constantly over and over again. So bringing ourselves present, bringing ourselves to the present, focusing on our breaths, focusing on our breath, focusing on our heart brings us into the present and then we can just feel grateful. 
Um, and that's one of the first things we can do. And there are a lot of different activities you can do that bring you into the present, including meditation, including breathing exercises. The second thing that your morning method should incorporate is energy. We all wake up feeling a lack of energy because we're coming out of that sleeping, sleeping phase. So in order to get energy, we have to move our bodies. We have to we have to energize ourselves. We have to create the energy within us. It's not going to be created by outside, by outside forces. We have to create our own energy. So this would be something, and you don't need to go out and do an hour long run or, or lift heavy weights all the time. It's just requires, you know, somewhere between five and 10 minutes even of just, of just movement. That can be your most, uh, uh, enjoyable form of exercise. It could be dancing. It could be trampolining. It could be, uh, you know, it could be rebound, rebounding on a, on a rebounder or doing karate or Tai Chi or things like that. Things that bring you energy. Uh, but energy is that, is, is that key element because when we bring energy to it, 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 it essentially allows our minds to start expanding and, and, and growing and, and it, and it brings that energy into the day. And the final piece of the, of the morning method puzzle is empowerment. Any activities that you do first thing in the morning should empower you. Um, you know, and these these things should be things that lift you up. The story you tell yourself, uh, where you want to go. I mean, there's some there's some great ways to empower yourself that include visualizing your future, visualizing times in your past that have empowered you, things that you're very proud of, things that you've you've enjoyed, things that you've loved experiences like that if you can think of those and have gratitude and find that that joy in those and then look into the future and 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 think of where you want to become um that's a way of empowering yourself and the beauty is in this method if you if you focus on those three things that's going to that's going to elevate your morning and put you in a place it's going to prime you for the remainder of the day and it's going to set the tone for the rest of the day so that anything else that comes in, anything else that comes in, uh, it's you're not going to be immune to the effects of that negativity, but you're not going to have to beat your head against a wall to try to overcome it. If you do this consistently, and it doesn't happen right away, but if you do this method consistently, it leads to a, a lifestyle that is higher in performance. It leads you to rising above fear it leads to pushing past your comfort zone more frequently instead of saying, I'm just not feeling it today. It is the catalyst to further growth, to continuous growth. I guarantee, I guarantee, I don't guarantee a lot. I guarantee this, that when you wake up in the morning and you consistently do an empowering morning method that incorporates presence, energy, and empowerment, you are going to see those effects uh, over time. You're going to see continuous growth. And you're, con you're going to see yourself forming greater courage, greater confidence, greater conviction in your goals, and, uh, and you will level up your life. This will make you a more fulfilled person by doing just this small exercise for mindset. If you do nothing else, incorporate an empowering morning method that incorporates presence, energy, and empowerment. And if you have a hard time remembering that, remember this, that presence, energy, and empowerment, if you think about that, it forms the word P. Yeah, I know it's, it's gross, but it's going to help you remember it. So before or after you have your morning pee, have your morning pee, right? All right. So I know that sounds silly, but you will remember it now. And uh, so I'll, I'll share this, this part of this uh, screen again, because it's important to, to show you what morning methods you can incorporate that will bring presence energy and empowerment into your life. Meditation brings presence and sometimes it brings energy. Breathing exercises bring, bring presence to your life. It also brings energy and it brings empowerment to you. So some of these things incorporate two or more of the, pre, of the presence, energy and empowerment formations. Affirmations, they empower you. Visualizations can empower you. Physical exercise gives you energy and empowerment. Martial arts, energy and empowerment, rebounding, all of these things are going to uh, are going to level you up if and uh, and improve your life. Now, I'll bet you're probably looking at at cold shower or ice bath, and you're thinking to yourself, "F no, I am not doing that." 
Well, just that fact alone, I, I, I want you to sit with that for a moment. Because when we tell ourselves F no to something, like a cold shower especially, and this is why a cold shower is great, oftentimes, not all the time, but oftentimes, that F no is the fear challenging us to say F yes. It's the fear challenging us to say F yes. It's, it's reaching that point in time where we can start our day doing something that we feel is so uncomfortable that we would never want to do it. But once we do it, I guarantee we'll feel refreshed. So that's the, that's the idea behind the cold shower. And I've done this every morning. And I'll tell you, every morning, it feels the same. I tell myself, I don't want to do this. It's terrible. I don't want to do it. And then I tell my mind to shut up. And I just jump in the cold shower. And immediately, that is an exercise of, of, of working out that muscle that... Uh, that helps us to rise above fear. And so if we do that first thing in the morning, uh, cold shower is a great way to do that. Ice bath is a great way to do that. If we can do that, if, if we can push ourselves past our comfort zone first thing in the morning, we work out that muscle so that later in the day we can continue doing that. If we do that on a consistent basis, we just keep growing. So all of these ideas, incorporate them into your morning habit. And before we, before we exit this, I'll share some things to avoid. Because all too often we jump right into these things. First thing in the morning, what do we do? We pick up our phones, right? We pick up our phones. And on the phone, we have news. We have social media. We have email. We have work projects. All of these things that include outside forces that we can't control. And so you want to avoid the news. You want to avoid television. You want to avoid social media, email, and work projects. Because for the most part, those are things that are outside of our control. And a lot of times they're negative because they want to spur outrage in us. Do you want to start your day feeling outraged? Do you want to uh, start your day with outside forces controlling how you feel? No, you want to start your day owning it. So keep your phone down except to open applications that are you know, helping you with breathing exercises or meditations. But keep everything else off. And then only do the empowering things that include presence, energy, and empowerment. All right? So for this week, what I would challenge you to do, figure out, start, just start a morning practice. And if you feel like you can't get an hour in, an hour is great because an hour is, is a great way to start priming yourself. But the goal is to get a half hour. And I know it sounds like a lot, but if you can get a half hour in, I guarantee that over a period of weeks and months, you are going to elevate your life and it's become, it's going to become something you look forward to and you're going to, it, it, it's going to be something you can't do without. And when you miss it, you're going to miss it. So get to that half hour point, incorporate some of these ideas that you can look forward to. If you're not into meditation, do some breathing exercises, do something a little more active, go out for a walk, but make sure that you incorporate a morning method that includes presence, energy, and empowerment. And uh, practice that this week. And I guarantee you'll start to feel better. You'll start to level up your life. Till next time, we'll see you soon. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to the Flow Over Fear podcast. If you'd like to learn more about getting into flow and learn the foundations of flow, I have a free video series on my website at www.adamcliffordhill.com called The Foundations of Flow. Feel free to go there and download it and start your journey to rising above fear and achieving greater flow in your life. And if you like this episode, and I'm guessing you did if you stuck around for this long, then please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and you will receive notifications when I have new interviews, new recaps, and new trainings that pop up on YouTube. Thanks again for joining us.